Hi, I'm Sherry and welcome to my channel. I wanted to share with you the new daily life planner binder. This particular layout I think came out in maybe October so it's fairly new and I haven't really seen that many videos on it so I wanted to be sure to get this done in time for Black Friday Cyber Monday for you all so you could make an informed decision. With the binders, uh, you either love it, you hate it, or you're somewhere in between. Right now I'm sitting somewhere in between, heading more towards loving it. Of course, I grew up back in the day where all we had were binders for our school supplies, and so I'm used to the pros and cons of using a binder. And I'm also very excited because with a binder, you can really change out and adjust the way the pages are laid out according to your needs. And you can't do that with a spiral unless you're going to Franken plan it and take it apart, which most of us just don't want to even attempt. So let's see. <clears throat> they have the colorful binder and the neutral. And then they have three colors. I think it's like blush, sapphire, maybe charcoal, where it's more of a fabricy feel on the outside. But this is like a real smooth type of material. And I really like it. Now you can choose to do the daily, the monthly, or the weekly. In fact, I had originally planned on doing the monthly because I think that best fits my needs. And so when I went to this page, I just scrolled right on down to the monthly. They had a 30% or 20% off store-wide site sale. So I was like, yeah, and I had other discounts and things that I combined with it to really get this for a really good price. And I was willing to give it a try. And then I went down and I thought, well, with the monthly, I might want a couple extra things. So I went down and looked and I was about to order some of the extra pages when I realized there was something there called daily packs. And they come in three month packs, quarters. And I was like, what is this daily thing? Maybe they have it, you know, for the actual binder because each one is 15. So when you add it all up, it's almost the same price to get it with a binder. With the sale price, it definitely made it worth the money so I scrolled back up and sure enough she had the daily planner available and I'm like this is exactly what I was looking for I don't have to do that much extra tweaking to make it fit my needs so this is what I purchased and of course the garbage truck is going by when I'm trying to do this so if you can hear that I apologize there's always some kind of noise in the neighborhood mm -hmm. all right with the if you buy the bundle you're gonna get it's considered like the life planner now you will not get this with the monthly but you will get it with the daily and the weekly you'll get your package with your little cards and your discount codes and stickers and things you will get a perpetual calendar I actually have a blog post that goes into all the pros and cons if you like to read and catch up on that you can go to plan the number two craft so plan to craft dot weebly w e e b l y dot com and check out my post on this i have some things to say about this but you know i'll leave it for there you also get your typical ruler then they also provided you with the vellum cover that you would normally get and yes they are punched for the spiral i mean i can understand they didn't want to have to reprint and to you know get it to fit the binder but it does fit in there fairly well I don't keep the stickers in my planners anyways I tear them out so that's no big deal you get the typical ones that you would find in the back of your normal life planner and then this one and I'll get to this in just a moment and then you get four of the quarter packs I already have the one in and in this one it happens to be from April to June and it has the monthly tabs this is exactly like the normal LP which I will show you here when it comes to the pages. So you get the January tab, and then you have this page, this page, and then it goes right into the monthly layout. It's what's after that's going to be different. This is the vertical, and it was working for me, sort of. Um, actually, I did want to order a monthly back then, but because I wanted all the little extras, yes, that's how I'm using the budget thing. I can show that another time which I never wrote in. I just wrote that part down. Uh, I, I wanted the stickers and I absolutely love this planning pack. It's beautiful. So that with this and this and the markers, it was a bundle and I just purchased that. 
I figured I could tweak out and use the vertical, but now I'm finding the vertical and me just don't mix. It's just too much. I feel like I'm not using those pages. So when I saw the daily, I was like, yes, 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 this will work. All right, so let's get these out of the way. Let me take this off. And let me just, I can't see where my, sure I get this thing for you. There goes my microphone. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. As you can see, they also include the little folder. I just have it in the front right now so you can see it. Again, this is punched for the spiral bound life planner, but it does fit. And they do have the two at the top, two at the bottom, and four in the center. You know, because everybody has to be creative and try and make things their own. Yeah, I won't even go there. Okay, so there you have it. Now, as you can see, I could put this here. But because this is vellum, when I went to put it in here, it doesn't quite fit 100%, and I say this in my blog post as well. When they say everything should fit, that's not true. It doesn't. Because in any type of manufacturing, you're going to get variances, and especially when it comes to rings, ring binders. Um, I don't know how it would be nice, but I just wish they'd say, they, we hope this will all fit, because in reality, it won't. Do you see the size of the coil? It is definitely a thinner size than the, the ring bound. So, yeah, no, it's not all going to fit. So anyway, I put this in here, and right away it kind of ripped, because this is, a, you know, it's not real sturdy. So I'm like, okay. I already have another plan for that. This is a crafty craft giver moment and I will do a post on that down the road what I'm going to do with this. So I don't need it in there anyway, so this is out. Okay, here's another thing. All right, okay, should we do the goods? Let's do the good first. All right, so like I said, you have this blank page. This is where you can do budgeting. You can do all kinds of things over here. This is what I've shown before. I'll post that. Uh, video up here for you to take a look at how I'm using these pages and then again it goes right into the monthly nothing different it's this that caught my eye look at this look at this oh it's wonderful so finally they came up with these pages each day say for Saturday and Sunday get their own page it gives you a time frame from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. with a couple extra this is perfect because even though I'm not my life isn't like set up in hourly blocks like if I had a job or something that would definitely be the way I would go or I was uh, you know like a teacher or something that'd be fine but here on these particular days not only do I mark them on the calendar but sometimes when you get a whole lot it gets squished in there and it's hard to find but here I can really put the main ones there no there's no like 10 15 or 10 30 but you could certainly add that it's I mean I'm not that particular and then so now I have like a whoa look at this we have an appointment at 10 a.m. at the dentist and that will help me rem remember and up here too as you can see there's a blank spot you could put stickers you could put an inspirational quote you could do a, a really big don't forget up here and there's no fancy schmancies in the corners here so it's kind of plain which is good and then down over here you have your blank corner that you can use for anything you want you can I think for us we're gonna go ahead and put our um, the menu for the dinner for the night and maybe you know I don't know I haven't quite figured this out yet but I'm thinking this is probably going to be the menu section and then of course as you can see here you have a to-do list I believe there are 10 little checkoff spots which is enough for a day and then you can write them down, the main ones, and then check them off, and there you go. The nice thing with the ring binder is you could pull this out and put it on your counter so you're getting it handled throughout the day, whatever. The, um, then over here in the corner, and this is only on the left-hand side of each page, it has uh, the, the calendar for the current month you're in. Okay, well, it's kind of tucked in the corner. I don't think it's really necessary. I mean, you can go back a couple pages and just look like that. So I, I suppose if it really bothered you, you could cover that up. All right, then, oh, here we are, right already. Uh, you can see Saturday and Sunday share one. And I don't know why, and Erin Condren is not the only one, why they do not give Saturday and Sunday their own space. 
most of us have busier, crazier weekends than we do during the week. And that's just weird that they don't give each one their own day. So yes, it has a to-do, gives me notes, inspirations, and reflection area, but I would prefer to also have a time listing and just, you know, a typical page. It would only add like four pages per month, possibly five. And uh, yeah, so Saturday and Sunday, I'm sticking up for them. They deserve their own page. The paper is the same that you get in all the other planners. You know, the colors kind of change with the month. Let's see, this one goes to pink. Okay, so it's it's fairly typical of how the other planners run. But again, you have this really nice layout. I'm really looking forward to using this. And as you can see, for the most part, this lays rather flat. Because I'm left-handed, um, even if I wasn't, I would still take the pages out, write the information down, and then put it back in, which is the beauty of having a ring binder. All right, so the first three months, January to March, and then it gets toward the back, and then you would just pop in your next one, and it has two line pages, and then you just pop in your next quarter, or you can have them all in there at once. I don't want to do that right now. I don't need to. Okay, so here's the goods. Let's run down real fast. I love the size and the feel of it and the look of it. In fact, one of the reasons why I ordered it was because it matches my kaleidoscope room decor. It's a nice quality binder. I don't have a problem with it at all. I like the size. It's very pretty and I figured for the discounted price that I got it for, just getting the binder alone, I was already ahead of it. I like the flexibility of it. I can add and change pages. They sell lined pages and they also sell the ones that have like the little side over here that tells you, you know, what you can do. It's like a tick off side. They sell those packs, I think, for $10 a piece. And so I will be picking up some of the lined ones to jam in here occasionally. Like I said, there's several options. I could make, if I was a home, still homeschooling mom, I would create my own pages and then punch the holes and stick them in there as well. So this is very adjustable to what you need. And then I have to say, I really love this whole idea of this daily planner. This is exactly kind of what I wanted. I With the monthly, I was gonna have to make lines and create all this, now I don't need to. Okay, so I had to stop the video there and split it into two. So be sure to click the link down below in the description box so you can see part two that covers the cons and the ways I fixed some of the issues myself. All right, till next time, take care. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.